Sometimes the theme of your weekly goals is do your best, AKA no one is going to die if you don't get everything done. Stick around for some mindset tips on getting things done when you have a lot on your plate and very little time in which to do them. Hey, this is Katie from Crafting Ruby Dreams and welcome to my channel where I talk about planners, goal setting, writing, publishing, and getting right with my finances. Today I'm going to go over my intentions for week 22 that I have set in my Moxie Life Planner. And once I've gone over those, I will share some tips on what to do when you have a lot that you need to get done and very little time in which to do them. Week 22 in the Moxie Life Planner is the first week of June and I'll be posting a video tomorrow about my June goals. The intentions for this week are in support of those particular goals. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for when that video becomes available. For the personal area of life, my focus statement is calm and my goal is to do a meditation session on the Peloton bike app that my parents have because I just need to manage my stress this week. I have a lot on my plate as I intimated and I just need to keep myself calm and peaceful and just get done what I can get done. For fun and recreation, my focus statement is flow just because I need to go with the flow. This is probably not the week that I'm going to be able to do a lot of items that would fall into the fun and recreation area of life. So my intention for this week is to start a list of five money-free activities that I can focus on for the future. This is something that I can do in the little pockets of time that I might have available this week. My focus statement for the work and learning area of life is do your best because I just need to remind myself of that particular statement. I have very little time for the day job this week to get done everything that I need to get done for being off next week. What I get done is what I get done and will be done to the best of my ability. The first three items on that list are things that pertain to my day job. And the fourth thing is to prepare for being away next week with no guaranteed internet access. So I want to get the videos for this week all produced as well as the ones for next week produced, uploaded, and scheduled. So if you don't see as many videos from me as usual next week, it will be because I just ran out of time and not because I don't want to be here for you because I love posting these weekly goals videos as well as the other videos that I do, but there is only so much time in the day and I've got a lot on my plate this week. Again, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified for when the next videos are available because right now I can't guarantee exactly when things will be up. For family and relationships, my focus statement is savor because I wanna savor this time with my family. The clock is running down as to when I will have to be back in DC. This next week, I will be back in DC picking up the keys to my new apartment. It's just reinforcing that I don't have much time left with my family. So my primary intention for this week with this area of life is to attend my one nephew's lacrosse game because it's one of his last games of his season. And with being away, I am going to miss the championship series. For the health and wellness area of life, my focus statement is release because I want to try and release the stress that I'm sure will have built up by then. And it's attending my weekly therapy appointment with my therapist. I will be missing next week because of the travel, so I know I'm going to need this time with her. For the spiritual and personal growth area of life, my focus statement is support. And these are things that I'm doing intended to support my mindset, my frame of mind, and my mental health. So these items include signing up for a micro coaching session with my Clifton Strengths coaching group, doing the Club Moxie training call, which is going to be on Tuesday, June 1st, and then doing the weekly reflections that are posted in Club Moxie. I'm a little bit behind on those, so I want to catch up, but I'm going to have some time in the car as we are driving between destinations next week. For the financial area of life, my focus statement is save because rent will be starting up again at the end of this month and I just need to dial back on all of my spending and getting myself in line with what my income is. 
My intentions for this week include no unplanned spending for at least five days this week, preferably all days. This is the beginning of the month, so there are a lot of monthly charges that are now going to be hitting, and those are planned expenses. So I just want to encourage myself not to do anything more than those already set monthly expenses. Also update my spending logs on a regular basis as well as pay off my credit cards this week. And the final one is to send $1,000 to my savings account because that is going to be both for the emergency fund that I'm trying to build up as well as a little cushion for when I need to furnish my new apartment. For the physical environment area of life, the focus statement is PAC because that is what I need to get done this week besides all of the day job work and preferably all of the YouTube work. I have a very hard deadline of when I need to have that all done. Admittedly, this is not my final trip back to DC by any means, but I would prefer to have everything that I don't need for my remaining time here to be packed up and brought back with us as space in the car allows. And the other intention for this week for that area of life is to do the actual road trip back to DC because we are doing that on Sunday. As promised, here are some tips on how to manage your time when you have a lot of things on your plate, very little time in which to do them, and you are absolutely overwhelmed. Number one, figure out what your priorities are. My priorities for this week are to get all of my day job work done that I can get done. And my priority within that area of things to do is to get my production work done. When I have to make a choice of how to spend my time, that is going to be what I turn to. Once I am done with the production work, then I can move on to the other things. Number two is to have a realistic sense of time, of how much time you can spend doing things. So related to the priorities, when I do my day job work, I know roughly how much time it will take me to get my production work done. So once you have your priority set, number one, and number two, you have a realistic sense of time as to how much it's going to take you to do the things that are your priorities. Number three is that you just have to remind yourself to do your best. And hopefully with what you are doing, nobody's life is actually on the line. The reason I have this particular mindset is actually because of my previous boss at my current day job. Whenever we were running into time crunches with getting things done, and it was usually because of other their sections putting demands on our time. My boss was a fairly relaxed guy and he was just always like, look, nobody is going to die if we don't meet the deadlines. We will do our best and our best will be good enough. It was so supportive to have a boss like that and to have one that verbalized that sentiment on a routine basis. So in the spirit of Ed, I will remind you, is anyone going to die if you don't get this done? No? Then just do your best and your best will be good enough. Thank you so much for spending your time with me here at Crafting Ruby Dreams. I truly appreciate your choice in watching what I do. If you have found anything in this video useful, please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube knows to recommend this video to others. And I hope you will consider hitting the subscribe button. As you will see on either side of my face, there will be my face, which you can hit to subscribe, and a couple of videos that I think you might enjoy. Thanks again and may all your dreams be ruby dreams. Bye-bye.